In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install OptiFabric for Minecraft Java version 1.21.10. So, let's get started. To begin, simply go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up mod print, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modrinth.com, click on modrinth, and then you will be on the modrinth homepage. From there, just go to the top of the website to discover content, then go down to mod packs. Now, just go to search mod packs and search OptiFabric, like so. So once you're here, find the name OptiFabric and click on the mod packs name, and this will bring you to this page. From there, just go to versions. Then go to game versions and select 1.21.10 and then you will only filter by these versions. In this case we have two betas, so just click on the latest one here for example, that is for later. And this is the green download button, but we will be using it a bit later. Because here, if you click this, you will only be able to use the mod pack with the Modernth app. Here I want to show you it, but with any Minecraft launcher. So how do we do this? Well. What you want to do is simply go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar and search up MR pack to zip, like so. Now enter, and here you'll find a website called, well, from github.io but download.fo, and just go ahead and click on modern pack to zip converter here, and then it will bring you to this website. I will have this website in the description if you need it. But here, just go ahead and scroll down, you'll find download from URL, this is where the green download button comes from. And then what you want to do is just go back to OptiFabric here. You want to go to the green download button and then you want to right click it. Then you want to go to copy a link address. And then you want to go back to the modern pack to zip converter. And then you want to go to the text box which is right here and right click. This will bring you this menu here. Click on paste. It should look something like this. And now just go ahead and click on download. And there you go. This just goes ahead and converts the pack to actual usable items and then you'll be able to actually add this to Minecraft. Okay, so here we have our zip and one more thing we need to do is get ourselves fabric as this is OptiFabric, it runs on fabric. So what you want to do is go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar and search up Minecraft Fabric or Fabric Minecraft, enter that in and here you'll find a website called fabricums.net Click on Fabric, and this will bring you to the Fabric homepage. From there, just go to the blue download button, and then go ahead and go to the blue download for Windows button. And yeah, there you go. So here we now have the Fabric installer, and we also have our OptiFabric here, which is still validating. So we will need to wait for this to actually go ahead and finish, and then we can actually continue and download the mods to Minecraft. So for now, you will have to wait that, you know, this whole entire zip folder is actually validated. So yeah, I'll just leave it here for a bit. Well, there you go. It's done, but just make sure it is validated because it actually continues downloading either way. So yeah, that could break it. So make sure everything is fully done. And if it is, you can close or minimize your web browser. I'll close mine, and from there you can go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Okay, once you're here, you can start by fabric, and you can simply go ahead and double click the fabric installer. And this will show up with a little window like this, make sure the Minecraft version is correct, and if it is, click install. Okay, and close. Once you do this, what you want to do is go to the OptiFabric zip, and do you want to right click it and go to extract all, then extract. There's different ways of extracting, but this one works pretty well as well. And now we have our zip here. So what you want to do here is simply go to the Minecraft launcher here, or any other Minecraft launcher honestly, this will work for anything. So what you want to do is simply go ahead and make sure you have fabric loader here. This will make sure that you actually have everything you need to actually run the game. And once you have this, you will want to go ahead and go to installations here on the top. Then you want to hover over fabric loader and go to the folder icon. Okay, so once you're here, you'll find all the Minecraft files. And what you want to do is quite simple. You simply want to go to the downloads folder 
you want to select the OptiFabric items inside the folder. So you want to double click it. You should see these two items here and just go ahead and select both of them and copy them. And then you want to go back to the previous folder. So click this top left arrow here to go back and dot Minecraft. And I'll just click paste, well, and you're just basically done. You just pasted everything here. Here we just have all of our mods and we also have our configs here for the mods. This is better graphs in this case. So once you have this, go back to the Minecraft launcher here. Remember this has now our new files in it. And then you can go ahead and go to play. You can select fabric loader here. Make sure you do have it selected or else the mods will not actually be enabled. And then you can go ahead and play the actual game. So click play, click I understand risks, and click play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to actually open up. Okay. So once the game has opened up, you will see that we have a bunch of mods. And if we go to mods here, you will notice that we have a bunch of these mods here, which help make the game a bit more optimized. So. If we go to like a single player world for example, we can go to a server or a realm, but I'll just go to single player. You can go ahead and actually check a couple things. So for example, or FPS with F3. If you know your average FPS, you should pretty much realize that you should have technically more FPS. And one thing you can do is go to, well, F3, you can go to escape, options, video settings, and here you have a lot of options you can go ahead and mess with if you want. So yeah, that is something you can do as well. So there's a lot of things to this, but the main idea is that you now have OptiFabric and there's things running in the background helping you get more FPS. So yeah, if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.